And you've mentioned art as well. So you were into art too? Oh, yeah. Really? Yeah. Uh, and so classically, so let's see. My mom is big time weaver, quilter. My sister is a, like a ceramicist or like a potter. Wow. Uh, my other sister went to college for a master's in fiber arts she's an art like we're a visual art family like everybody wow. so my that's why i took an interest in screen printing because mm -hmm. back when i was doing just a lot of art i was doing a lot of like screen printing mixed media and stuff like that so yeah I'm a visual visual artist all the way and that's why i do uh a lot of design stuff for alan santa and that's where so now as i'm getting older as i'm approaching yeah. 40 uh <laughs> you know I've printed um, with automated equipment, like, you know, half a million dollar presses. I've printed wow. on little screen printing presses where you pull the squeegee by yourself and everything. And uh, physically, it's a demanding <laughs> gig. And at a certain point, that's when I moved into like sales account management. I'm yeah. like, yo, I can't like, I can't physically continue to print, but for so long. And uh, the design thing, I mean, it just makes sense. Like i known so many bands for so long and everybody needs t-shirt design so i'm saying true you, how about your old buddy dennis <laughs> i'll just, I'll just hey. combine all the things i like <laughs> art music you know t-shirts it's all there so you know we're, we're out here yeah. doing, doing a little art here and there but yeah man uh visual art hands down is my background wow. so do you like you... yeah go ahead sorry no 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 go ahead yeah, uh, I was just saying that uh, visual art, especially recently, has been my, you know, biggest thing. Mm. I don't know if you can hear, if you can see. Oh, yeah. You know? Oh, nice. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. Um, but um, um, do you, like, ha have, like, favorite painters, favorite works, like? Um, let's guess. I would, if you're talking classics, MC yeah. Escher all the way i was an i was obsessed with it and like that's another reason i ended up in the field i did because i went to college for product design because it's like science math and art and i'm that's the kind of artist i'm very formulaic like i just told you how we write lyrics yes. about like a structure like that's how i approach <laughs> art like i'm gonna make a diagram i'm gonna find you know golden spiral center yes. of interest i'm really gonna like math it out because that's nice. the way like i think about stuff so mc escher uh mm -hmm. is just seeing those because he's I was a mathematician and he'd start with a mathematic principle he was trying to illustrate visually come up with a bunch of drafts and then he would go back and make that like final like woodcut and do that print like super precise and i love that um more contemporary artists uh jake bannon from mm -hmm. converge is just yes. that jane doe that iconic and like especially with the kind of visual artist i was where it was a lot of playing with textures and that screen printing aesthetic mm -hmm. and layers uh and it's just i think he's just such a talented vocalist too lyrically he is yes. I don't know if you've ever sat down and read some converged lyrics but they're oh. brutal yes. <laughs> it is brutal it's it's very raw and i love it when lyrics fit music and like the the lyrical structure fits his voice and like the intensity of it and uh so yeah i really enjoy his stuff too so you know and that's like and i like to like i tell anybody like you know if you're looking for inspiration to do a design listen to some music you know here here's something i'll put you in the mood the same way you're getting stuck on lyrics go to an art museum or something you like go to a park yeah. and like yes do something pull from all these different areas and it'll help you out and trying to keep that uh that well-rounded because design thinking applies to so many different forms of creativity and just trying mm -hmm. to make sure you're giving yourself a feed of inspiration without overdoing it and it's very easy to overdo it with social media because you will see mm. the greatest uh, everyone's catered their feed to only look like they just never fuck up yeah you'll feel like why can't i do it like especially so one of my hobbies is a game called warhammer Forty Thousand. i don't know if you're familiar it's a miniature game you build the <laughs> miniatures you paint them i got hang on i'm gonna, I'm gonna pull oh show out. us oh yeah this is this is oh it. wow this is uh, mortarion okay the big dog wow 
No, don't be too impressed because I did not paint this one. I had it. Pro- <laughs> <laughs> I had a pro pen. I wanted the showstopper so you wouldn't notice my horribly painted miniature. But it's amazing, uh, though. Oh, dude, I love it. <laughs> and so this is for anyone watching that doesn't know. This is a game where you literally buy like a model kit. You put the miniatures together. Then you go to a game store with other mouth breathing nerds with <laughs> rulers and tape measures and dice. And you roll it out in the like giant rule books, the whole nine. Uh, so these pa- miniatures are not pre-painted. You have to paint them yourself. That's a whole part of the hobby. Uh and when you go online looking for painting inspiration, it will make you feel really bad because you are horrible. <laughs> Everyone is horrible at painting. And all these people online are so good. And you'll want to give up, but you can't. <laughs> it's like, you just have to turn it off and just go for it. It's like, it's okay to have a horrible looking army. And that's why I got one pro painted miniature i said that's how they'll see and they <laughs> nice. won't see my, my little my little scrub miniatures but speaking of warhammer i don't know if you follow henry cavill at all but oh, right he, now yeah uh, but he's, he's very he's, much into it right he's bringing warhammer to the people and finally everyone's like what's warhammer like we've been here i've been playing since i was 14 <laughs> like over half my life i've been playing warhammer i love well, it I mean, and Henry Cavill is, I think he's part of the nerd crew in general, you oh, know? 100%. Right? Oh With my right. God, dude. It's, he's like, the worst is that, like, all the we all love him. All the nerds love him. Yeah. And then, like, my wife, who is also a huge nerd, like, she's the one who taught me to play Magic the Gathering. Nice. And <laughs> she's like, when we we're on COVID lockdown and Henry Cavill is posting like YouTube videos of him putting together a PC and it's just like him with like a headlamp putting like RAM and stuff. She's like, this is, this is just like nerd girl thirst trap stuff. And I'm like, it is. And I can't even be mad at it. Yeah. <laughs> he's he's I, uh, our champion. I, uh, <laughs> I saw quite a lot of comments because I, I remember that this video did the news. Like it was everywhere. And I was, I remember like, you know, so many comments about it and all the male nerds being like, hey, we can't blame the women. We want him too. <laughs> yeah. I know. You can't even, it's just a, there's just a guy putting a computer together. I mean, any, any other man yeah. <laughs> just revolts, <laughs> revolts women. But Henry Cavill, it was boys and grace. And so, yeah, and he's spearheading the, the Amazon project to bring the uh, Warhammer universe to life with Amazon. And we're with him, dude. All right. He yeah. quit the Witcher because they lost the faith. Yeah. All right. Well, I, I trust Henry. Uh, there's it, a lot of, hey. there's a lot of doomsayers in the Warhammer community saying this is a mistake. I say, no, <laughs> no, it's going to be awesome. Hey, I'm uh, you know, uh, I'm part of the crew that it was so excited to see him actually being tied to, what rumoring to be t- part of Marvel as well. So yeah. I see lots of people talking about that and I'm like, yes, you know, you oh, that, that's going to be good. Yeah.